idea of Mysuru is more than that of a place or a mere name. This is the home of the warrior heritage, a cradle of the arts, the very symbol of fine taste and living. The Mysuru Palace is a grand representation of our history. This is the new palace. The history of the palace of the Mysuru warriors is long, stretching across 550 years. Oh yes, Mahakali, Lakshmi and Saraswati. Our Devi Chamundi is the manifestation of this godly triumvirate, the divine testimony to our living faith. We place our trust in the grace of Goddess Chamundi, for she is the beginning, the middle and the end of the history of Mysore. Merciful Goddess Shri Gauri, save us. Limpid-eyed consort of Lord Shankara, bestow happiness on us, O giver of boons. Shankarishwari Vai Manika Bhumarchita Komala Karapade Simatita Bhumas Padika Mita Palade Kaya Shri Gauri Karuna Lahari Tuya Jakshi Shankarishwari This region is referred to as Maisha Mandala in the Puranas, the old mythologies. The coming here of Chamundi is an exciting story. Long ago, there lived here a Rakshasa, a demon called Maisha. He was very cruel and tortured people mercilessly. <laughs> Maisha's great desire was to become immortal. He did severe penance, meditating on Lord Shiva. Pleased by this penance, Lord Shiva appeared. My ardent devotee Mahishasura, rise, I appear before you. Pleased am I with your penance. I am blessed, Lord of Kailas. I am blessed. Rise, my son. Rise now. May your desire be fulfilled. Seek a boon, granted shall it be. Lord of the universe, grant that I may not be killed by either man or beast that hails from the three realms, Atala, Vitala, and Patala. So be it. <laughs> Mahisha, till then a blight on the people, now became a menace to the gods themselves. <laughs> oh no, this is unfair. What torture is this? Oh no, Devendra. Lord Indra spoke for the gods. Oh Lord of Kailas, I bow to you. Devendra. Lord of Kailas, this Mahisha is beyond our control. We cannot bear his assaults. Protect us, Lord. I am really helpless. Grant I can a boon, but take it back. I cannot. I have the boon, Lord Shiva's boon. Not man nor beast can do That's true. Death will be caused by neither man nor beast. 
but caused it could be yet by woman. Goddess Parvati is an incarnation of Shakti, the divine power. Invoke her. Invest all your powers in her. Savior of the destitute, Mother of the universe, Great Goddess, save us, save us. What is it that makes so that all the gods must invoke me? Mother, protect us from Mahisha. We cannot suffer this torture anymore. Devi, my consort, you are an incarnation of Shakti. You alone can slay Mahisha. As you please, my lord. I will slay Mahisha by taking the form of Chamundi. Century. This region was known as Hadinadu. King Chamaraja ruled the land. His queen was Chikka Devarasamanni, their only daughter, Devajamanni. Chamaraja died an untimely death. The covetous eye of Maranayaka, chieftain of the neighboring Karbahalli, fell on Hadinadu. He started to bring pressure on the widowed queen, demanding that Princess Devajamanni be given to him in marriage. I want the hand of the princess before the next full moon. If you don't agree, I shall take her by force. Dear daughter, take heart. Oh, Chamundi, save us, mother. We are hopeless, lost, in despair. Save us, beloved mother, save us. The day of the full moon was closing upon them. One evening, like a gentle breeze, wafted in two brothers, they moved towards Mysuru. And presently came upon the Kodi Bhairava temple. Sarvani Rupani Vichitya Dheeraha Namani Kirtvavi Vadanyadaste Salutations to the goddess. Here, the holy Aarti. You are new to this place? Revered priest, you guess correctly. Anyaduraya. This is my younger brother, Krishna Raya. Namaste. Namaste. Receive the holy prasadam. We are of the Yadu dynasty. We set off from Dwaraka. We have traveled all over the country. 
Could we camp here for a few days? By all means, the presence of Lord Kodi Bhairava and the serene ambience will bring you peace. Good priest, tell us what is special about this region. We are eager to explore. What can I say? All of Hadinaru is in gloom. Misfortune has fallen upon the royal family. And so, the ascetic, Jangama Bandari Basapavadiya, told the brothers of the bullying Maranayaka and his demands. Brothers Yaduraya and Krishnaraya thought over it. They decided to offer their services to the royal family. Namaste, royal mother. We are of the Yadu dynasty. We have come here to free you from your distress. Send a message to Maranayaka that you agreed to give your daughter in marriage. May the coming full moon become his day of death. The grateful royal mother sent the planned message to Maranayaka. The full moon arrived. Maranayaka with his entourage moved from Karugahalli to Hadinado. The brothers Yaduraya and Krishnaraya joined the wedding party in disguise. <laughs> With Maranayaka immersed in the merriment, Yaduraya and Krishnaraya suddenly fell upon him. The bullying chieftain fell, cried. My life! You have caused misery to helpless women. You deserve to die. Ah! Krishnaraya, lay siege to Karugahalli. Take it under your control. I shall secure the safety of the royal family. As you command, brother. Royal mother, your misery is at end. You and your province are secure. We have no means to thank you. Mother, we did our duty. Why talk of gratitude? We seek your grace of heart. Marry my daughter, Deva Jamani, and protect our kingdom. As you wish, mother. Let the wedding take place right away. Hey, and so it came to pass an epoch in Karnataka a great regime was born Yadraya ascended the throne on the 11th of April 1399 he took on the title Vadiyar the princess of Yadu Vamsha the Yadu dynasty became the founders of the Mysuru Vadiyar dynasty. Let me tell the rest of the story. And who might you be, my lady? I'm Kaveri. Daughter of King Kavira. They call me Loka Pavani, the one who cleanses the world. Thanks to the measureless calmness of Sage Agastya, I flow as a river. Sri Rangapatrana is the little island I protect, flowing as I do on either side of it. In the year 1610, Raja Vadeyar I invaded my little island. The island's ruler, Sri Rangaraya, a vassal of Vijayanagara, was very weak. He surrendered my island to Raja Vadeyar and fled to Talakadi. Victorious Rajavadir now stood before the great golden throne of Vijayanagara. Oh, his eyes weren't enough for all of its dazzling splendor. His ears, too inadequate for its far-reaching fame. The world never tired of singing its praises. Uttaratna kachita minu minu kuvanta aramaniya simhasana dare yalla yalla hole hole yuvanta adagilla sari samana adagilla sari samana. There is no equal on earth to this throne of the palace. Glittering, shining, splendidly studded with pearl and precious stone. Tari marada patti bedu. 
ಬಂಗಾರ ಬೊಂಬೆ ಬೆಳಗು ಎಂದೆಂದು ಬೆಳಗು ಬೆಳಗು ಕರಿಮರದ ಪಟ್ಟಿ ಬೆಳಗು ಮತ್ತು ರತ್ನ ಸಿರಿಯ ಮೆರುಗು ಬಂಗಾರ ಬೊಂಬೆ ಬೆಳಗು ಎಂದೆಂದು ಬೆಳಗು ಬೆಳಗು ಮತ್ತು ರತ್ನ ಖಚಿತ ಮಿನ್ ಮಿನುಗುವಂತ ಅರಮನೆಯ ಸಿಂಹಾಸನ ಜನ ಮನದ ಆಸೆ ವೈಭವದ ಪರಿಚ ಲಾಂಛನದ ಸಿರಿಯ ಬರಸೆ ಲಾಂಛನದ ಸಿರಿಯ ಬರಸೆ of March 1610 Raja Wadiya shifted his capital from Mysore to Mai Sri Rangapatna My trusted minister it is our desire to build a kingdom as glorious as Vijayanagara we must celebrate Mahanavami the traditional 9 day festival on a scale to match the grandeur of Vijayanagara let the preparations begin your highness yes minister when the previous ruler sri rangaraya conducted the 9 day festival his queen alamelamma would send her big pearl nose stud and other precious ornaments to adorn the deity ranganayaki but alamelamma has now fled with her husband and taken away her ornaments with her word that she returned them by the order of his the warriors of mysore became victims of a curse the curse of a virtuous woman the previous ruler sri rangaraya was already dead by then when the warriors orders reached alamelamma she uttered a terrible curse on the royal family the like of which had never been heard before hear ye gods who wander the skies hear ye ashtadikapalakas ye guardians of the eight directions hear ye the five elements the fire of the female form flows in the skies akindil is gone Mysore rulers the curse of alamelamma i have lost count of the many that have plunged into me but alamelamma i can never forget no could the mysore warriors the warriors brought to mysore a great confluence of erudition valor literature music and the fine arts their enduring ideal was the old vijayanagara empire the lights that danced and glowed on the banks of the river tungabhadra did shine on the banks of the kaveri too kantirava narasaraja wadiyar was known for his physical prowess the world knew him as ranadhira for he was without equal in the art of wrestling yeri o Tiruchinappalli lives a jatti a great giant of a wrestler never has he known defeat his underwear hangs at his town's gate if there be a challenger who dares he may fling the underwear aside 
and wrestle with him. Hear ye, hear. Oh, the town crier's message sings the sinews of Ranadhira, made them taut. He arrived in disguise at the town gate of Tiruchinapalli and pulled down the offending garment. The challenge taken, the match ensued. Eventually, Ranadhira drew his sword, Vijay and Narasimha. It sting deadlier than that of a wasp and struck. Wonder of wonders, the stricken Jatti stood rooted to the spot. The spectators gaped. Smiling, Ranadhira nudged gently the Jatti's head, separating clean from the body. It fell to the ground. The crowd marveled at the sleight of hand swordsmanship. Ranadhira Kandirava Narasaraja Vadir defeated Ranadullah Khan of Bijapur, the chieftain of Madurai, and Kempe Gauda of Magri. He extended the kingdom. He launched his own mint and brought into currency a coin by the name Kandiraya Pana. He came to be called the model king in the annals of Mysore history. Succeeding Kantirava Narasaraja to power came Doddadeva Raja Vadir. He built the thousand steps up the Chamundi hill. Along the path, he installed the exquisite statue of Nandi, the bull. Chikkadeva Raja Vadir, who came later, heralded the arrival of the golden age of Mysuru. Sriman Mahishura Ratna Simhasana Dishwara Virudantem Baraganda Raja Jagadeva Ravakoti Narayana Apratima Veera Dakshina Chakravarti Chikadeva Raja Bahupara 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 Chikadeva Raja was a hero. He overcame the chieftain of Madurai and the king of Tiruchinapalli. He defeated the Marathas. He enjoyed the friendship of Aurangazeb, the Mughal emperor of Delhi, who bestowed upon him the title Raja Jagadeva, Maharaja Chikadeva Raja Muhammad Shahi. His significant achievement was administrative reform. He set up the Athara Kacheri, the 18 departments of administration. He introduced the postal system and regulated markets. He constructed the Chikka Devaraya and Devaraya canals and also established mints. He was the patron of Singararya, who authored the first Kannada play, Mitra Vinda Govinda. He was also the patron of writers like Tirumalarya, Chikkopadhyaya, Timbarasa, Mallikarjuna, Sringaramma and Sanchi Honnamma. In his work, Apratima Veera Charite, the annals of the incomparable hero, Tirumalarya, describes Chikkadeva Raja in these terms. Shri Mantam Yedushaya Ballabham Shreemantam Yedushaila Vallabha Padam Bhoja Vrindam Paschimarangadhamanagara E Simhasana Adishan Buddhama Shri Yaduvamsha Kalpataru Prouda Pravadam Jagat Premam Bittu Negalge Balge Chikadevendra Mahi Chandrama Sanchi Honnamma was
was a maid in Chikadeva Raja's palace. The proximity of the court poets evoked her own poetic inspiration. She wrote a poem titled Hadi Badeya Dharma. One day, Chikadeva Raja was eager to listen to her poem. Unnamma, I hear that between your duties, you write poetry. May we not enjoy the grace of your lyric? Oh, sire, my lyric is but immature. Your coat is endowed with stalwart poets of unmatched caliber. I am but a flickering candle before their poetic brilliance. But Tirumal Arya himself has praised your poem in my very presence. Come, do present us a selection of your lyric. I am blessed, my lord, to have the praise of a poet like Tirumal Arya and the audience of a king such as your majesty. I am truly blessed. <coughs> Why slight woman? Woman it is who bears. Weren't all born by one, protected and nurtured by one? Why yet be fools to condemn woman? was a poet, a scholar, and an accomplished player of the veena. His own favorite was a veena named Kalavati. He delighted in the very touch of it. When he placed it on his lap, tinted and plucked the strings with skilled fingers, the universe was filled with sound celestial. The melodies from the instrument resonated sweetly across my tiny island. Is it for me to tell you, mother, of the ebb and tide of history? When was it that history was not uneven? Do go on, mother. It was the middle of the 18th century. The Mughals were in decline all over India. The Marathas were growing strong. The British were on the rise. Kings everywhere were reduced to mere dummies. Power went into the hands of strong military heads. Mysuru was not an exception to the times. Army chiefs Nandarajaya and Devarajaya ruled in wanton abandon. Krishna Raja Vadiar II protested against their atrocities. He decided to talk to his subjects directly to learn of their problems and needs. Karachuri Nandarajaya did not like this idea. Withstand the rigors of heat and dust. We have taken much care beyond your own to nurture your gentle self without exposing it to undue hardship, to keep your royal person in robust health. 
Your royal self and the Mysore kingdom are like our own two eyes. It is by the grace of Lord Ranganatha that your royal self is not in peril as yet. So desist from inviting it upon yourself. So warned, the warrior was put under house arrest. But Nandarajaya himself became a victim of the cruel hand of fate. He was instrumental, unwittingly, in letting into the Mysuru province a young man called Haidar. It was at that moment that history took a turn. In 1766, Haidar Ali took hold of the Mysuru administration and established absolute control. He ruled in the name of the warrior. He defeated the British and expanded the Mysore kingdom over 80,000 square miles. On Haider's death, his son Tipu took over the administration in 1782. Proclaiming himself the Sultan of Mysore, he ruled for 17 years. He fought the British and in the fourth anglo Mysore war, he was killed. In battle, the 4th of May, 1799, was the day the glory of my beloved island was snuffed out forever. The capital was shifted, this time from Srirangapatana to Mysore. Thence my tiny island and I became past glory. The British installed a minor. Little Krishnaraja Wadiya III as the new ruler. Divan Purnaya was to oversee the new administration. The Wadiyas were back in Mysuru. In 1800, on this very site was built a palace in wood, suitable for the residence of the king. It was a five-storied structure with exquisite carvings of intricate design. Krishnaraja Vadir III was the epitome of the arts. He was a patron of poetry, music and literature. He himself wrote over 20 celebrated works. In his famous work, Sri Tatvanidhi, are descriptions of 35 ancient ragas. The master architect came to Mysore. He stood here to take in the 72 acres of the site. The vision of a palace began to take shape in his mind. It was to be a grand structure, 245 feet long and 156 feet wide. The actual palace rose from the ground slowly, surely. The construction of the palace, which began in 1897, saw completion in 1912. Today, people witness the history of Mysuru through this glorious palace. An elegant memory of modern Mysuru is that of Krishna Rajawadiyar IV. 
He took Mysore to its destiny of a model state. The founding of the Shimsha hydroelectric project at Shivana Samudra and the iron and steel works at Bhadravati. The founding of Mysore University, Mysore Bank, Kannada Parishad. The launch of the radio channel, Mysore Akashavani. The Mysore Arasi Kere Railroad and the adult education program. The establishment of libraries all over the princely state. The Miller Commission for the Upliftment of Backward Classes. The Legislative Council for Framing of Laws. His roster of achievements grows long. Distinguished administrators like the Divans, Sir Moksha Gundam Vishweshwaraya and Sir Mirza Ismail served the state during his regime. Attention, His Royal Highness, Savadhan! Your Highness, Sri Vishweshwaraya awaits your kind audience. Vishweshwaraya, please come. We are apprised of your scheme. Your Highness, if a dam were built across the Kaveri, Thousands of acres of barren land would become most fertile. The lives of the poor would be flooded with wealth. Hmm. We do appreciate your genius. The scheme of such noble ambition will indeed have our ready support. Please proceed. I am most grateful to your eyes. It was during the reign of Krishnaraja Vadir IV that the dam was built. Behind the dam was built a splendid garden, Brindavan. Even the hydroelectric power generation project at Shivana Samudra, the first in Asia, was completed during his tenure. Thus, the distinction of bringing electric power to the cities of Mysuru and Bengaluru goes to Krishnaraja Vadir IV. Mysuru was delighted. Sovereign Krishna Raja, light of every home. The name Krishna Raja became immortal in the history of Mysuru. Mahatma Gandhi called him Raja Rishi, a sage among kings. The University of Banaras bestowed on him a doctorate of law. Eminent Kannada poet B.M. Shrikanthaya wrote lyrics in his praise. Mysore, the land of gold. Mysore, sanctum of the sandal. Mysore, gloried by the Veena. This Mysore of Krishna Raja the Fourth. After the passing of Krishna Raja Vadir IV, Jai Cham Raja Vadir became the king of Mysuru. He was to be its last, ruling from 1940 till 1950, when India became a republic. During his tenure, the Sharavati hydroelectric project and the Badra project were envisaged. A philosopher, connoisseur, musicologist and statesman, he lived up to the Vadir glory. As a composer, his name is reckoned among stalwarts with bhakti or devotion being the main theme of his compositions in Sanskrit. Famous musicians sing them at concerts even today. Shri Mahaganapati Mbhaje Ham Shri Mahaganapati Mbhaje Ham Shri Mahaganapati Mbhaje My praises to great Ganapati, son of Shiva, brother of the six-faced Lord, to him who grants wishes and clears obstacles. Shri Mahaganapati Mbhaj 
जय चाम राजो वडियर ब्रीथ हिज लास्ट ऑन सेप्टेंबर ट्वेंटी थर्ड नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फोर द रॉयल डायनेस्टी इज नाउ पास्ट बट इट इज लेफ्ट बिहाइंड दिस ब्रेथ टेकिंग पैलेस एंड द अनडाइंग लेगेसी ऑफ फाइन टेस्ट इट कल्टिवेटेड अमंग द पीपल द रॉयल ट्रेडिशन मैनिफेस्ट इट सेल्फ एवरी इयर इन द ग्रेट दसरा फेस्टिविटीज इन टूडेज दसरा नाउ ऑब्जर्व एज अ पीपल्स फेस्टिवल we carry goddess bhuvaneshwari the deity of the land in a grand procession all of mysore rejoices in this festival of enlightenment we cleanse ourselves in the holy kaveri and fill our eyes with mother chamundi we stand mute at the resplendent beauty of the slit palace mysore glows indecently in its many hues Oh, my God. 